What's up, Hasfit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia, and this is a full body kettlebell workout. This is a no repeat session. So that means we're only going to do one set of every exercise. You can follow me for the standard moves, and I'll provide some easier modifications. Let's go. Let's get started with a warm up, focusing on our whole body because this is a full body kettlebell workout. Mm -hmm. First one's going to be a multi planar lunge. Feet are shoulder width apart, a little bend in our knees, hinge at our hips, hands go down to the floor, walk it out into a push up position. Now I'm going to bring my right foot up to my right hand, reach through to my left side, and then rotate to the right, hand back down on the floor, right foot back. Same thing, opposite side, left foot up by the left hand. You reach that left hand through and up, repeat. So this is just the warm up. so we're not in a race here. Making sure you're going through that full range of motion, maybe spending a little bit more time on any part of the movement that feels like it needs more attention. Hitting multiple muscle groups with this one. to breathe throughout do not hold your breath if you can't quite get your foot up as high as we are by your hand do the best that you can it'll still be effective so Ooh. one more time on each side here and last one All right, now we're gonna stay on the floor and moving to a quadruped position on all fours. Focusing on our wrists next. With our fingers pointing forward, I'm gonna gently rock forward and come back. Doesn't take a lot of pressure on this. Again, we, on these types of stretches, we wanna go about 85, 90% of what we're capable of. We don't wanna push it where we're feeling real pain. Trying to keep that palm in contact with the floor. All right, now let's switch our hand position so that my fingers are now facing me. All right, now gently rock back and forward. Depending on your wrist flexibility, you may you need to get those hands underneath you more to achieve that. If you got great wrist flexibility, you can bring them out in front of you more. Just a gentle stretch on this one. Don't go crazy. Working on those forearms and wrists. All right, standing up next, we're gonna focus on our shoulders, chest, and upper back with a little sequence here, T's, Y's, and I's. Feet are shoulder width apart, hinging at our, our waist. Back's on a 45 degree angle. Starting with T's, we're gonna bring our pinkies up as we create a T shape with our body. Pulling our Arms away from our chest, squeezing the middle of our back. Full range of motion, really pulling back every time. All right, now we're gonna transition into a Y. Our thumbs are up on this one, and our arms are coming up into that Y shape. Not to the side, not straight overhead. It's kind of like right in between. Again, thumbs are up, full range of motion. All right, last one into an eye. Now we're gonna bring those arms straight up, finishing with our biceps by our ears. Again, full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. Warming up those shoulders. A lot of great work on the way. And stand up, relax. Last warm up move is gonna focus on our posterior chain. That's our whole backside with a kickstand good morning. Our feet are gonna be staggered to start. Hands are on our, our head. 
I'm gonna have my right foot just behind my left heel. That's that kickstand stance, bending a little slight bend in both knees. Now hinging at my hips, driving my left hip back especially. Keep my back straight, stand up, squeeze your glutes up at the top. So drive those glutes back. That lead leg is the one you're gonna feel the biggest stretch in here. And that calf, hamstring, glute, lower back. Every time, push those glutes back like you're trying to touch them to the wall behind you. All right, same move, opposite side now. Switch it up and begin. You may feel one side a little tighter than the other. That's all right, nothing to be alarmed about. Keep that back straight. And again, don't turn this into a squat. It is a hinge, hinging at the waist, at the hips, hips driving back. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, got you from head to toe there. Ready for our work. Ready, Claudia? I'm feeling warm. All Let's right. Let's do this. So today's session is going to be done hit style. We're going to alternate 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. And during that 15 second rest period, we're going to be explaining the next movement to you. So pace is just going to keep going. That's right. We're going to move quick. We need one kettlebell to start. We're going to perform a reverse lunge. So we're going to get that one kettlebell up in a goblet position, grabbing the bell on either side. Good posture. My core is braced. I'm going to step back with my right foot, drop both knees to a 90 degree angle, back up, alternate, left side. All right, let's let the work begin in three, two, one. Let's go. So again, 45 seconds here of this movement, and then you're not going to see it again for the rest of the day. That's right. So that means you got to give it all you've got. Every set. And we're putting together different exercises, working complementary muscle groups. Woo. One set of muscles is working, another set's working and resting. I'm already feeling it. Dropping both knees, doing 90, but do not bounce that knee up off the floor. Core stays tight and embraced. Brace it throughout. Got 10 more seconds. Come on. Good pace here. And five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. Next up, we're going to perform a dead man to a thrust. I'm going to grab that kettlebell on the handles with the bell facing down. It's a compound move here. Feet are shoulder width apart. I'm going to, with my arms down, I'm going to squat down. That kettlebell comes all the way to the floor. Now curl, stand up, press overhead with that bell on top. Repeat. Ooh. Here we go. 45 seconds. Hand begin. Down. Curl. Stand up. Press. So it might take a couple repetitions for you to get that sequence down. Core stays tight throughout. Woo. <laughs> yeah, this is much of a brain workout on this one as it is working your body as well. Yes, you guys don't judge me. Woo. Working our forearms, biceps, shoulders, legs, triceps, all the above, core. Breathe, do not hold your breath here. No. Not much left on this one. In five, four, three, Two, one, zero. All right, keeping that kettlebell, mixing up the weight if you need to as you go through these movements. We're moving into a isometric hip up plus pullover, another compound move. Grab my one kettlebell, again, from the handles, the bell facing back, lying down. I'm starting with that kettlebell straight up overhead. Now I'm gonna bring my glutes up off the floor. There's that isometric uh, hip up position. Now performing a pullover. Slight bend in the elbows, let that kettlebell come over and return for 45 seconds. Ready and begin. Full range of motion. Again, adjusting the weight as we move through today's workout. Some moves you may need a heavier kettlebell, some moves you may need a lighter kettlebell. Either different muscle, either from different muscle groups being stronger or weaker, or just from fatigue. Make today's workout work for you. 
And you're gonna exhale on the hardest part of the movement, which is bringing that kettlebell back over your head. Keep your glutes tight, heels close to your body. Feet stay flat on the floor. This one's working your glutes, hamstrings, core, shoulders, back and chest. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent work. Moving back up to our feet for the next one, we're gonna perform a racked marching. Now, I'm gonna go a little heavier for this one. As am I. We're gonna get that one kettlebell up into a racked position here, with the kettlebell by my chin, elbows tucked in, bracing at the core, that means pressing out. Opposite arm is out, and now I'm gonna bring my left arm up, sorry, left knee up at the same time. All right. We're gonna do half and half on each side. Ready and begin. Bring that knee up ideally until that quadricep is parallel to the floor. Core stays braced. You don't wanna be tipping over. Exhaling as you bring that quadricep up. Stabilizing throughout. Switching sides in three, two, one. Zero, same move, Ooh. opposite side. Get it up and just start moving. No break in between. Such a great anti-rotation core move here. Yeah, we want those shoulders to just stay stabilized, stay parallel to the floor. No rotation, no dipping. And again, it's all right here. Oh yeah. That core bridges the gap between our upper and lower body. Ooh. Core is on fire. Not much longer, fighting to the end. Let's go, Hasso Tribe, for five, four, three, two, one, zero. <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna lighten my weight a little bit for the next one, moving into a halo plus a goblet squat. We're gonna start with that kettlebell up, and we're gonna perform a halo, which is, I'm gonna go to my right side. Kettlebell is gonna come around my head, all the way around, and then plus a goblet squat, weight back on my hips. Then we're gonna go opposite way, and then squat. All right, here we go, 45 seconds. Three, two, one, hit it. All the way around the head, weight back in the hips. Pushing the pace here. Again, it's that 45 seconds. It's all about how many repetitions can you hit in that allotted time period? Ooh, and just remembering what side you just haloed around your head. Yeah, doing the best <laughs> you can on that. Making sure on that squat, we're driving through the midfoot. We don't want to fall back onto our heels or come forward onto our toes either. Inhale on the way down on that squat. Exhale on the way up. 10 more seconds, come on. Everything's feeling it on this one. A lot of compound moves today. Two, one, and break. All right. Moving to the floor, we're gonna perform a two to one push up. I'm gonna place two hands on my one kettlebell and be on my feet. And notice I'm gonna be on my knees. I don't have a kettlebell, but I am gonna do a more narrow uh, stance. I'm gonna have my hands a little bit more narrow and closer together. A lot of tools here to work with. Um, you could also choose from the knees, but with the kettlebell. You decide what works for you. What's best for you, that's right. 45 seconds, ready, and begin. We're gonna drop our body until those upper arms get parallel with the rest of our body. So we're not burying it chest all the way down, but instead those elbows are gonna get to about a 90 degree angle. And then you come right back up. So no chest to the floor here. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Keep Burn your core, it out. Yep, keep your core nice and tight. Don't let that booty sag. No chicken neck. We want everything a nice straight line from our head down to our toes or maybe to the back of our knees if you're doing my variation. You got about five more seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Ha ah, oh. burn so good. Next up, we're gonna perform a half kneeling chop. I'm actually gonna go a little lighter for this one. Again, adjusting your weight as you need to throughout mm -hmm. the workout. Getting into a 
half kneeling position. I got my right knee up. I'm grabbing that kettlebell from the handle. Bell is on the end. I'm gonna start by rotating to my right side. I'm gonna bring that kettlebell up and to the left and diagonally and chop down. We're gonna split time half and half on each side. Ready and begin. This one's gonna really work your core in a functional way. Not just chopping down, but chopping diagonally, Ooh. reaching up, setting our shoulders on fire on this one. Keeping that core braced, you don't want it loose. We're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. Same move, opposite knee up, start that left side and begin. Ooh. Even from this position, still testing your balance. Definitely. And that's where that core comes in. Keeping that core brace and solid is really going to help you maintain oh. that balance throughout. Not only working your core, also working your chest, shoulders, and back. Oh. Let's go. Not much left. Right to the end. Come on. And five. Four, three, two, one, oh my and goodness. zero. Ooh. All right. Next up, two for one move. We got a kettlebell clean plus press. I'm gonna go slightly heavier on this one. For our setup on this one, I want you to grab that kettlebell, not in the middle of the bell, but more towards one side, the inside. Now my feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna perform from the mine from the floor. So I'm actually gonna squat all the way down. And then I'm gonna explode up, bring my elbow up, and punch that hand through to a clean. Then finish by pressing straight up overhead. How, how does your clean For different? my variation, I'm just gonna go down to about my shin. So I'm going to hinge from the hips to about my shin level, and then come up with my clean. So you decide if you wanna do the full squat or just the hang. And yeah. if you thought better of it, you can go ahead and make a weight switch. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Uh, Ready and begin. Full range of motion. Make sure to inhale Ooh. on the way down. Exhale as you perform that clean. Big power. It's your first time performing a clean. I do recommend you watch some content or videos on just performing a kettlebell clean. You could do a whole video on just that. And just be conservative with your weight also, if this is your first time just so you can get a feel for how the bell moves in your hand. Yeah, that's a great tip as well. We're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. Switching sides again, grabbing that inside and right back into it. That's right. And that press, making sure to keep that palm facing inward. Thank inside. you for the reminder. We're not twisting it. We'll do that later. Not necessarily, it's not wrong, it's just a different move. Making sure to drive through those legs. And Not on that much clean, left. On that clean, we're punching up. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're going to give those shoulders and legs a break. Oh focus goodness. on our biceps with a hammer curl. We're going to grab one kettlebell from the handles only with the bell facing down. Elbows are locked into my side, and now I'm gonna curl or hammer curl that, L, that kettlebell straight up. In three, two, one, begin. Elbows stay in, good posture, no swinging on this one. Ooh. We gotta really kind of slow things down after that last exercise. For sure. Focus on your form, keep those elbows nice and close to your body. We want to control that lowering phase. Well, really both phases. Exhale as you bring that bell up. So it's really focusing on your Ooh. biceps and forearms. Feeling a little brutal right now. It's all right. That's how change happens. Can't be changed without being challenged first. Five more seconds. And three, two, one. Zero. Oh, goodness. All right. We're going to give that upper body a bit of a break, and we're going to move to our lower body and core with a split squat plus 
rotation. I'm gonna grab this kettlebell from the handles, from the horns, kettlebell set facing straight up. Now, I'm gonna step, step back into a split squat position. Good width on this one as well, don't be too narrow. I'm gonna drop straight down into a split squat, come up and rotate into that lead leg. Repeat half and half on each side. <laughs> Ah, Ooh, my arms are burning. We can feel it. It's working, <laughs> folks. Three, two, one. Begin. Drop that back knee down, up, rotate into that lead leg. Core again stays braced throughout. When we say brace, it's like pushing out on your core 360 degrees or like filling up your core like a balloon. Don't want to be loose at all. And yes, this is, especially after that hammer curl, going to work your biceps. Oh my gosh. As well because they're still feeling it from the last one. We're gonna switch sides in three, two, one, zero. Same move, Oh my opposite gosh. side, right into <sighs> it. Let's go, come on, you got it. <sighs> and begin, drop down, rotate. That's all right, we're feeling it too. We're right there with you, Hasfit Tribe. Rep by rep, getting better. Every repetition is getting us just that much closer to our goals. Come, Come on. on. Not gonna stop when it hurts. We're gonna stop when we're done. Whew. Almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, we have another push up variation for you next. It's called a depth push up. We're gonna place our one kettlebell down. I'm gonna place one hand on the kettlebell. My other hand is gonna be on the floor. So one on the kettlebell, one on the floor. I'm gonna come up onto my feet. I'm on my knees. And from here, we're performing a full range of motion push up. Halfway through, I'll tell you to switch. I'm gonna place your other hand on the kettlebell. All right. All right, in three, two, one, begin. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. This extra, this different push it variation is gonna place an extra emphasis on the hand that's on the floor and hit the hand that's on the kettlebell or arm that's uh, on the kettlebell from a different angle. Again, make sure you get that breathing right, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Switching sides in three, two, one. Oh. Same move, opposite <laughs> side. And Whee. begin. Whee. Whee. <laughs> ah, burn so good. That's me trying to go to my happy place. That's it. Wherever you got to go to get this done, Hasfit Tribe, go there. It's not even physical at this point in the workout. Definitely more mental. Pushing yourself here. We can't push you. You got to be able to push yourself. That's right. Every rep getting that much stronger for five, four, three, two. One, zero. Oh my gosh. All right, no more push ups in today's workout, I Yay, promise. Thank you. All right, we're going to come to our feet and we have a kickstand squat for you next. <laughs> so, from a kickstand position, I'm going to bring this kettlebell up. Actually, let's bring it up into a goblet. So, we got the hands on either side of the bell. I'm going to get into a kickstand stance with my feet, bring my right foot just behind my left heel. And good posture. Weight back on my hips, squat down, come back up half and half on each side. Ready, and begin. So toe behind the heel, but still keeping a good wide enough base so you won't fall over. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And the point of this kickstand stance is we are overloading that lead leg, that's on oh, purpose. Yeah. So back leg is still working, but now your lead leg is maybe getting 70% of that weight. Switching sides in three, two, one. Same move, set up and begin. Woo. Making sure to sit back every time, <laughs> especially with that lead leg. Who wrote this workout? Masochist, Let me I'm talk to sure. the manager. <laughs> oh, calm down, Karen. <laughs> Breathe in, <sighs> exhale on the way up. Good posture, core stays tight. Don't get loose. Don't get loose. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I'm gonna go heavy for this next one. We're going to perform a hollow body alternating knee raise. A couple different variations for you. Getting started 
from our backs. I'm going to grab that one kettlebell from the bell, wrapping my fingers around it. I'm going to extend it straight up. Now I'm going to bring my shoulder blades up off the ground. My lower back is glued to the floor. I'm extending my legs straight. That's a hollow body position. Now I'm going to alternate, bringing my right and left knees up. And you notice for my variation, I have my legs down and I'm bringing my knee up and returning them back to the ground. So if you decide if you want to keep your feet up the whole time or if you need to return them down. Ready and begin. But you do notice that I have my upper body up. So my shoulder blades are up off of the ground. And that lower back is glued to the floor the whole time. A good test to see if you're ready for my variation is can you do my variation without getting an arch in your back? Ooh, in that lower back. That's what I mean, yeah. Keep that lower back with maintaining contact to the ground. The whole movement. So if you begin to feel it raise up, go ahead and switch to my variation. We want to focus. That core. That's right, focus on good form here. Not much left. Let's go. 10 seconds. What do you got? Come on, drive. Stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Woo, keep those shoulders up. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right. <sighs> one kettlebell needed for this next one. Maybe a moderate weight. We're going to do a V sit overhead press. We're going to get seated into a V sit position. So we're gonna split our legs up as wide as you can. Keep in good posture here. Temptation when you get here is to do this. Bring it up. Now, kettlebell in a rack position by your chin to start opposite arm out. We're gonna press up, bring that elbow up and return back down. So the elbow comes up, unlike the uh, press we did earlier with the clean. Ready and begin. So you're finishing with that palm facing forward on this one. Woo! Again, <laughs> half and half on each side. Claudia is enjoying this one, I think. Oh my goodness, She you might guys. be setting a record for woos oh today. Oh my word. It's a woo record. It is a woo workout. Holy smokes. We're feeling it too. You're not alone out there, Hasfit Tribe. This just tells me I need to do more kettlebell. That's really all I feel like this is telling me. Ow! Switching sides, two, one, zero. Oh. Same move, opposite side and right into it. Again, returning back to that rack position every time. Core stays tight, staying upright. Don't allow your body to slouch forward. Don't allow it to rotate. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Yep, I push. Come on. Stay strong, stay strong right to the end. And five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Nice. How you feeling over here? Oh my gosh. She ask, likes it, folks. She likes about, it. Ask me in about 10 minutes. Or maybe tomorrow. Ask me tomorrow. When she's asking me to use the massage gun on her. <laughs> nice work out there, Hasford Tribe. You made it to the very <sighs> end. Now we are going to move into our cool down. We're going to focus on bringing our heart rate down slowly, as well as getting some extra mobility, flexibility in. <sighs> Also helping us to um, reduce some reduce of the delayed, the, yeah, delayed onset muscle soreness, yeah. that, soreness that kicks in. Because you're so, probably going to feel it tomorrow. So those are all the reasons <laughs> to keep moving with us and not stop the video right Don't now. Don't stop the video. Moving to the floor. Okay. Catching our breath. Lying <sighs> figure four here, lying on our backs. And I want you to bring your right foot up onto your left knee. I'm going to reach through, grab the back of my leg and pull that right leg closer to me. Now, if it's more comfortable for you to bring your head up, feel free to do so. If you prefer to keep your head down, feel free to do so. It's just a preference thing, whatever feels most comfortable. We're focused on stretching our hips and our glutes on this leg that's up. Just got some real good work today. If you need to, you can use a towel or a band if you can't quite reach. Three, two, one, relax. Set it down, opposite side now, same move. Again, reaching through and pulling that leg towards you. Focus on, again, getting that hip and glute stretched out. Yeah, you're right, Claudia. A lot, of, a lot of good work in this area of the body today. Really the whole body, man. We really, no muscle group was left behind today. No, every part was screaming. 
<laughs> screaming for help. Everything was screaming and for three, me to stop. Two, one, zero. But you kept on going. I kept going. And hopefully you did too out there, Hester Tribe. Next up, we're going to perform a piriformis stretch. So actually same setup. Right leg's going to be back up on that left knee. Now I'm going to take that right knee. I'm going to pull it towards my left shoulder. So diagonal across the body, feeling that stretch here. And now press it away so we get both internal and external rotation on that hip. Again, now pulling it diagonal across the body and then pushing it away. Breathing throughout, no breath holding. One last one each way. And now let's switch sides, same move. Again, pulling across the body to the opposite side shoulder. And then press away both that internal and external rotation. Oh my goodness. Still feeling great over there? Still feeling awesome. All right. And how good does it feel that that workout is done? We can cross it off our list, Claudia. I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> All right. One last one each way. Very good. Okay. We're going to come on up now onto one knee into a half kneeling position. We're going to perform a kneeling hip flexor stretch. I'm going to squeeze both my glutes and my abs. Poke them. Are they tight? Squeeze. Tight. If they're tight, now we're ready to proceed. Now I want you to slowly come forward. Doesn't take a lot of range of motion. And if they're tight, you should feel a nice stretch down your quadricep as well as that hip flexor. Which is why it's important for you to squeeze those glutes back Because if they're relaxed, I can just do this and I don't feel any stretch at all. Right. So making sure, tight, tight. Now come forward and you feel that stretch. Another body, uh -oh. set of muscles that got hit really well today. Inhaling, exhaling. All right, relax. Same move, opposite side now. But again, squeezing those glutes, squeezing those abs, and come forward. Again, not a big range of motion needed on this one. Focusing on those hip flexors as well as our hips, glutes, loosening all those up. Not only great too for the, uh, the actual muscle groups themselves, but also great for our posture, as well as you know those of you that might be experiencing back pain, those muscles get tight, our back starts to hurt. Three, two, one. Oh, All right. goodness. Sitting down, legs out in front of us, moving to a seated toe touch, plus scarecrow or cactus arm, same move, different names. We're gonna start with tomato, a Tomato, tomato. We're gonna start with a toe touch, or maybe it's an ankle touch, or a shin touch, or a knee touch. <laughs> Point is, I want you to reach as far as you can. Chin into your chest. And sit up. Arms straight up overhead. And then pull those elbows down while you're pulling the arms away from the body, opening up your chest. Repeat. Hitting your calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back with this first one. Sit up. Arms straight up. And then hitting our chest, shoulders, specifically with that next one. <sighs> Focus. It's feeling good. Feeling good. It's helping me feel not so 40. Um, I don't know why. I'm just feeling feeling my age today. But that's okay. I'm still here. We're still here. I'm still working out. <laughs> We're still fighting the good fight. Last <laughs> one. Sitting straight up. And excellent work. Yes, I finished this race today. Well, there you go. And you know what has to try? We're all going to have those days yeah. where, you know, it's just hard and maybe we're not feeling as motivation, <laughs> you know, motivated, you know, and motivation is fleeting, but discipline is what lasts. That's why it's important to build that healthy habit. Yes. And one of the ways that we help you to do that is with our full, complete program, seven to 90 days in length. We have programs for all fitness goals, building muscle, losing fat, just kicking butt at life. Whatever your goal, we have that for you. That's right. And those programs can be found on the HasFit app, which can be downloaded to either an Android or an Apple device. You can also stop by our store, pick up some fresh HasFit gear to work out in, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.